So it's important to get this addressed because you're not going to get an issue from this immediately. But since the system was designed to work with aeration, the longevity of the system will be in jeopardy if you don't get it addressed. Our toilet bubbles when we drain the tub. Uh, is that because of not having enough vent? Also, the field has two lines that look saturated. All right, my quick diagnosis of this one, what's happening is the drain field is not draining like it should, and so that causes the water level in the tank to raise up higher than it should be. And when that happens, it'll cover up the inlet line, the pipe coming in from the house into the tank. And when that's covered up, you don't have that normal ventilation. And what happens when you drain the bathtub, uh, that water rushes through the plumbing inside the house, but it runs into that water that's high in the tank and that pushes air back up the plumbing line into the house and is causing the toilet to bubble. So yeah, it sounds like there's something going on with the drain field. You want to, want to get that inspected and see what can be done to alleviate that issue. How do I know how long the tube goes down into the tank to hit clear water? Uh, so this is this is when installing a new outlet device in, in the septic tank. So real quick, the outlet device is the part of the tank that holds the solids back and lets the clear water go out to the drain field. The outlet device, in this case, we're talking about a, a PVC T that is connected to the outlet line. And then there's an extension off the bottom of that T that goes down into the middle part of the tank where the clean water is so that clean water can go out to the drain field and drain away. How long should it be? It should be long enough to go into the middle center of the tank. What you could do is take a longer piece of PVC. Most tanks are going to be about five or six feet deep. Well, I guess we'd be four, four and six feet deep. If you dip that down to the bottom, measure it and split the difference, that'll put you in the, in the middle part of the tank and hold those solids back. So Andrew had a question on float switches. He said the red light was on, so his alarm light was on, but the pump worked when he activated the manual switch. When he put it back in on-demand mode, the pump won't activate when the first or second float is raised. But when he raises the third float, the alarm goes on. This is uh, actually a pretty simple diagnosis. Uh, what's going on is the start-stop float switches are malfunctioning. So the pump is, is working fine. So when you manually turn it on, it will function. But since the float switches are bad, the float switches aren't telling the pump to turn on and off. So replacing those float switches should take care of this issue. My inlet has a baffle. Do I need that baffle? In some areas you'll have an inlet baffle. And what that is, is you've got the inlet line, which is your pipe coming from the house into the septic tank. When that comes into the tank, there will either be a concrete wall or a concrete box built around that. Sometimes they'll actually put a, a PVC T, just like we use for an outlet device, they'll use it on the inlet line. And in any of these cases, what they're trying to do is eliminate the churning that's happening in the tank. So when water comes in, it mixes up the tank and that action can cause solids to get pushed out to the drain field. So what that inlet baffle does is it just slows that water down so it can't get that big churning going on and it helps to hold solids back from the drain field. Are the alarm and compressor fail alarm the same issue? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, this is very important uh, to differentiate. So first, the alarm will be for the pump that's actually pumping the water away to the drain field. The compressor fail alarm is going to be for an air compressor. So this would be for a system that uses aeration uh, as part of the design. And when the that alarm goes off, that's telling us that the air pump has failed and is not pumping air into the system to take care of the aeration part of the design. So it's important to get this addressed because you're not going to get an issue from this immediately. But since the system was designed to work with aeration, the longevity of the system will be in jeopardy if you don't get it addressed. After showering, our water level rises just below the top of the PVC T, the outlet device, and at times has gone above the T. 
is this an indicator that we have an issue with the drain field being clogged? So yes, this, this would be the typical sign that you'll get when your uh, septic system is uh, on the the first stages of failure or you know the first stages of some kind of an issue so what, what's happening is the normal operating level is right at the, the bottom of the outlet line that goes out of the tank to the drain field as water comes into the the septic tank that same amount of water should be flowing right out to the drain field when the drain field is not draining at the rate that it should what happens is the water's coming in faster than it can drain out to the drain field and so you see that water level raise in the tank this is a time for you to get an inspection done and see what can be done to address it.